I love making these, and you guys seem to like watching them, so I'm bringing you another one. Welcome to a new movie haul. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome to my latest movie haul for things that I have picked up in the past month. As always, we're going to start with the less exciting stuff like the DVDs, and then work our way into the Blu-rays, the boutiques, and then some box sets. I have a little bit of everything this month, so stay tuned, stick around. Don't get bored by the DVDs, I promise you there is cool stuff coming. Without further ado, let's get into this. And like I said, starting off with the DVDs, if I'm not wrong, I picked up all of these at this little resale shop that I found. Um, so what this shop does is they go into people's homes and they help them with estate sales. And whatever doesn't sell at the estate sale, they bring into their store and they sell it there. I think they gave me a great deal for all of these and the box I'm about to show you. It was like 30 bucks for like 100 bucks worth of things. That's what online says if you look up the things on eBay. So let's get into this. The first movie that we got from there is Money Pit. And this stars Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. And I haven't seen this since I was a kid. I watched it with my parents a long time ago. And I remember finding it super funny and really enjoyable. So I'm happy to check it out again. The scene I remember the most was when the floor falls through when they're trying to redo the house. I don't remember exactly what it was. Like I said, it was probably like 15 years ago, but excited to check it out again. Next up, we got two movies in that sale that go together, and that is Karate Kid Part 2 and Karate Kid Part 3. Um, when I was really young, me and my dad watched all these movies together, and I had a little box set that had all three of them. Don't know what happened to that box set because now today that is missing and all I have is the original and the remake. So I picked up these two to go along with it and rewatch this trilogy that I loved so much as a kid. I remember liking one and two more than three, but still excited to recheck them out. Next up, we have a movie that I recently watched for the first time, and I enjoyed it so much that I decided to buy the DVD when I saw it. Of course, the first time I watched it was on streaming, but now it's cool to have in my collection, and that is Galaxy Quest. This is kind of a spoof movie on Star Trek, so I'd say it's in the same realm as like a Spaceballs, and I find this super funny and enjoyable. Don't love it as much as Spaceballs, but I do enjoy this film. Next up from that sale, we have Jack Frost. This is another one that I haven't seen since I was a little kid. I think we owned it on VHS or something because I watched it quite a few times when I was younger. And I remember it scaring me quite a bit. Um, I thought it was very freaky when Michael Keaton turned into the snowman. Uh, nowadays, I doubt it's scary, but I will be checking this out again next winter. It will be fun to get back to. And the last DVD from that sale, I know I mentioned I got more from that. There's a box set coming up. But the last DVD is Bruce Lee in Fist of Fear, Touch of Death. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have never seen a Bruce Lee film. I know I should, and I know I want to. So, when I saw this for very cheap, I decided to pick it up. Little did I know when I came home and researched it, that's actually like half a movie of other movies cut together and half a documentary. So, sadly, it's not my first Bruce Lee movie. So, I think I'm going to hold off and watching this until I actually watch some Bruce Lee films and then come back around to this. It looks cool, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for at the moment. Didn't realize that when I bought it, but still cool to have it. All right, now we're going to get into the Blu-rays, and these I got at Salvation Army. I was donating some things there, and then I popped in for a quick second, and they had Blu-rays, too, for a dollar. So the first one I picked up, I actually really wanted, and the second one was just to complete a collection. The first one is La La Land, which I've been wanting to see this movie for a long time now. I'm hoping to watch it soon. It looks incredible. It has incredible, it has incredible reviews. I love Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. Their other movie that they're in together, which is Crazy Stupid Love, is an awesome film. So I'm hoping this one is just as good, maybe better. And the second movie that came in that two-for-one deal, because I had to get two to get it the two-for-one, is something that I'm not that excited for, but I have the first and second from my sister when she bought movies, and I have the third and fourth from Mystery Boxes, so I finished out the collection with Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. One day, I will sit down and watch these all. Am I looking forward to it? Not that much, but I think I want to. I think I want to try it, so we're going to do it. 
Next up, we got some boutique Blu-rays, and these are both John Carpenter films. I've been really getting the Carpenter movies. I want to bring you guys reviews on all his films and maybe do a Carpenter ranking one day since he is retired from making movies and... I think that is the best time to review a director's catalog is when they are complete. First up, we have the Scream Factory Collector's Edition of The Thing. And I recently watched this for the first time a couple days ago. And all I gotta say is the hype is real. This movie is awesome. I love that whole anxiety-filled feel of this movie where we don't know who's alien and who's human. This was an incredible watch. And right after watching it, all I could think to myself was, I can't wait to rewatch this. And the other John Carpenter boutique we got this month was the 4K steel book from Scream Factory of They Live. And this is, without a doubt, my favorite John Carpenter movie. I filmed a review for this for my channel. It'll be coming up soon, so make sure to keep an eye out for that one to check it out. Like I said, my favorite John Carpenter. This movie is so smart and so ahead of its time. It is perfect for the modern world we live in. And I love this film. And I'm so happy to have it on a 4K steelbook hanging up on my steelbook wall, which I hope to show you guys one day soon in a room tour. But gotta love this movie. And last but not least, and I'm going to try and hold this up for you guys. It's pretty heavy. It's a pretty big box set. But this is also what I got for around 30 bucks at that estate sale store. And I've been wanting to watch this show for a long time. Being an Italian, uh, my mom is from Italy, born and raised. So I have been told that I need to watch this show. And that is... Oh. The Sopranos, the complete series, and this box is incredible. When I bought it, you know, it was a little dinged up, but I was able to clean it off, and it is near perfect shape now. I got it for such a good deal. Let's open this up. So, it opens up to this red case with a book in it that says Sopranos. Comes with a little carrying bag for the book, which I probably won't use. I'll probably just keep it in the case. Looks cooler that way. And, oh, here is the book. Pretty big book. Pretty cool looking. And if I can scoot up here and show you guys. Opens up to lots of information about the show. All the discs are in here per season. This is DVD, but... This is the coolest box I've ever seen for The Sopranos. I couldn't pass on it. I don't care if the quality's not as good as Blu-ray. This is awesome. It's got pictures from the show and the different uh, episodes for each season. And as you go, all the discs are in here. Seasons 1 through, I think, 6. There's 6 seasons of the show. Like I said, I haven't watched it yet. But now that I have this, I will be getting into it. I can't wait. So there's a lot of pages here. Um... I will try and go through all of these before the camera dies. <laughs> like I said, pictures, episodes, discs, the whole thing is in here. This is an awesome, awesome little collection, and I'm so happy to own it. When I looked up the eBay and Amazon price, it was like close to $100. So to get this, plus all those DVDs for $30, bucks was an incredible deal I couldn't pass on. And as a collector, I got to say to you guys, don't go to Best Buy. Don't go to Walmart. You can for new releases, but man, if you go to secondhand stores, garage sales, thrift stores, that is where you find the gems, and that is where you find them cheap. And that is what I've been doing recently, so... Do what I do, go to those stores, I'm telling you, you'll find some hidden gems. But anyway, thank you all for watching this video and checking out my haul. Thank you for continuously checking out my hauls as I put them out. I can see that you guys enjoy these, and I enjoy making them. I enjoy picking up these things to show you guys. So thank you all so much for the support. Make sure to leave a like on this video, comment below what you picked up, subscribe to my channel, and also have a great day.